financial accounting. We're going to talk about the statement of cash flows, which to me is the most practical of all statements because that's how we run our lives. How do you get cash and how do you spend cash? And we will learn there are three basic sources and uses or inflows and outflows of cash. Those come from operating activities and those operating activities primarily have to do with the income statement. And you'll know that the result of the income statement is net income. So that's always the very first thing on a statement of cash flows. We're going to put down our net income. Then we're going to cruise through the income statement and look for any non-cash revenue and expense items. And so those include things like depreciation expense. Now, since depreciation does not take any cash or spend any cash, we want to add it back. So we're going to add back depreciation to net income. We will also add back any losses because losses did not take any cash out of our pocket when we had those. Uh, when we sold our investments or our property plant equipment. Likewise, we will subtract out any gains that we had when we sold investments or property plant equipment because the gain isn't what put the cash into our pocket. It's the, the, sa the uh, cash proceeds from that sale that did it. So we're going to subtract that. In addition, we're going to uh, be analyzing our current assets and our current liabilities. So current assets and liabilities. We're going to look at them for changes. And what we want to look at here is, remember, current assets and current liabilities are um, our daily activities that go into um, the daily operations, meaning the income statement. How did you do this period? So the changes in current assets, like inventory, uh, accounts receivable, there's ups and downs, means that cash is coming in or going out of our business. Likewise, our liabilities, like current liabilities, like um, accounts payable, their ups and downs, again, are the ebbs and flows of cash going in and out of our business on a daily basis. So looking at the changes here in current assets and current liabilities and adding or subtracting them accordingly will give us the cash from operations. So we may have a net income for on the income statement, but what the real question is, is how much money did your business uh, generate? So that's what cash flows from operations will tell you. The second section is the investing section. And in the investing section, we're going to be analyzing our non-cash assets. Did they go up? Did they go down? And if they went up or down, how much cash did they either bring in or did they spend? So what am I talking about when I say non-cash, ca non, uh, non-current, that should be non-current assets? The non-current assets that I'm talking about are your long-term investments, not the investments that you make because uh, you've got a little extra cash around and you want cash management investments, but long-term long investments or Things like property, plant, and equipment. It, did you buy a car this year? Did you sell a car this year? Did you buy a building this year? Did you sell a building this year? So those changes in my non-current assets will either bring in cash or reduce my cash because I made those uh, decisions. The last section has to do with financing. And when we look at financing, we're going to be looking at our changes in our long-term liabilities, such as long-term debt. Uh, so if you borrowed long-term debt, does more cash come in? Yes. If you repay long-term debt, does cash go out? Yes. So we're going to look at those changes 
for the increases or decreases they incur. Also, we're going to look at our changes in our um, stockholders equity account for any changes that they incur and we will add or subtract them accordingly. In other words, things like did we pay a cash dividend this year? Did we sell stock? So those types of things either bring cash into the business or go out. That will give us, when I add and subtract accordingly, our change in cash. And you know what? You'll know that if you got this answer right, even from the beginning of the problem, because the change in cash is nothing more than the difference between your beginning cash balance on that lovely balance sheet and your ending cash balance on your balance sheet. So you know where you're headed. The final thing that you have to disclose is any non-cash changes that flip things from investing to financing or financing to investing. Since no cash came in or went out, but you changed these categories, you have to disclose it. So that's an overview.